and shopping with Jax. The wind has died down. This morning we got caught in a thunderstorm. Oh, it came up so fast and it seems like it's coming fast again for the next wave. Just got a message from Danny saying what he's doing so I'm trying to balance you. We walked to Village Table and Tavern to have a drink. But they had the outside closed. <sighs> the pool is cold. It is not heated, so I don't know how long I'm going to last. I'm going to try and go in. Everybody's out. The family left with the little girl. We still have Laura and Matt. They're at the beach with Sebastian. Danny and Yvonne walked to go have a drink. We're going to have to scoop up all these little diving sticks. There's four all in a row. <sighs> Yeah, I'm all over the place, sorry. It's just really volatile weather right now. Sorry about the cicada. <laughs> it's very volatile here. Lots of strong storms that keep hitting. Oh, this one's inflating. You okay? Of course, the piggy has sunburn on his nose. But I have a little bit of time before rain starts again. So I'm gonna make the most of it. It did say three hours till the next rain about a half an hour ago. And then I got to the house and it said two hours. I'm like, okay, well maybe it was just ticking down. But then five minutes later, it said one hour. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna hop in the pool until I freeze, which will probably be five minutes. And then I've got a book that I lent Laura a million years ago that I can start rereading. That sounds great. We got water. We got a towel to sit on. We got a new swimsuit. Looks kind of glowy. Yeah. Maybe I'll catch you up on a time lapse. I didn't bring my tripod out because that's a little weird, but yeah. That's what I'm going to do.
Thanks. Hello, everyone. We made it through Friday. We are already feeling like we need to do over beach week. <laughs> we'll probably try and find something, some little getaway. That's just that's what keeps us life. <laughs> and it's hard. Today was a better day, though. We at least had breaks where we could run out and do things. Danny got two walks in. I don't, know. I don't think he was counting the little half a walk we got. So he got two and a half. I did one and a half, but it was like a long one all the way down through deck and to um, do shopping with Jax, which is nice. I got Sebastian set up where Jax had been sleeping and I put that trundle away, which is nice that I don't have to do it Sunday morning. I don't know how there was so much sand in those sheets. <laughs> so yeah, this is Sebastian's room. I did not move the table over to where it used to be because he just has everything so set up here how he wanted it that I, I can move that on Sunday. I do sometimes move some furniture around, like the crate. I have to move a big empty chest into the closet so that I can put Stevie's crate in our room. So I always move those things back. I remember how I found them. But yeah, I was just coming down to put his pretty clothes away and make sure that bed is ready. And I finally got some laundry done so Jax had clean clothes. I got to go swimming while the sun was out. It was really nice. It is raining out there. I don't think you can tell, but there's a lot. The pool is quite full compared to how it was earlier. I can't believe how much rain has gotten. How is it that much fuller? Couldn't I grieve? There's been a lot of storms. Yeah, what's the started rolling and I got too cold so I sat out a little bit but then had to go in and take a hot shower. I mean just stand there in the hot water. I don't need to soap up twice a day. Now that one less family is here it feels so much more calm. These are probably from the house. And I sweep and clean the counter every morning. It's filthy again. It was filthy by the time breakfast was done, but there's not like a whole family's worth of stuff on the counter, so <laughs> I feel less stressed. I get a little stressed, and yes, these are lined up because of me. Having all this stuff out makes me a little anxious. But if I line them up into little rows or little groups, it feels calmer. Anyway, let's check on Sebastian. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god. If I just cut that out, it's because I went to check on him and he was in the bathroom on the pot. But I got Jax into this room. So, he didn't care if the sheets were washed. So, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really needed to get clothing laundry done. But I moved him over and put his clothes in here and wiped down the counter. And I washed their towels because they tossed them into the bath as we told them they are supposed to do. Just to get them out of the way, I washed them. But I moved over the one he's been using. I'm going to over. So he is so happy to have this room for two nights. What's going on with that? Yeah? Oh, is it because I put this cord up? I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's flopped over again. I need to check that in a minute. I'm back. <laughs> Just kid stuff. But he's back in the shower. This was the room that our little friend stayed in. Cute. But yeah, I definitely couldn't oh my god, she's I definitely couldn't put her 
my kids in this room that were just no privacy so at least with that room downstairs i could make some separation with the curtains and stuff had they been up here in this room then laura and matt would have been able to have it in this room with the attached bath but they've been really cool about being down there and they can let their dog out really easily they've got the fridge right outside their door because there's a the extra fridge down there so it's worked out and sebastian had the option to move up to this room if he wanted to but if he wanted that room they were in to himself so that works Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna check on him again, give him the five minute warning, and probably go put some slippers on. I don't think I'm gonna change into my jams just yet. But my feet are cold. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna say goodnight. Tomorrow is our last full day, so at least part of the day I will be packing. I think we have Laura and Matt until maybe afternoon and then they've got to head home early. So it'll just be us and Yvonne on checkout day. Drinking some tea that I got from a tea and spice shop. I chose cinnamon plum herbal tea. I also got some sriracha sea salt, which I think will be very tasty. And on like avocado toast or potatoes or rice. Oh, I'm, I'm still talking, I need to say good night. Okay, good night friends. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.